I'm Mary Henry, and I'm chatting with Professor Lowe about his exciting balloon. Professor Lowe, could you tell us a little bit about the balloon? Yes, ma'am. Um, <coughs> on the 20th of April, 1861, in an effort to prove that upper level winds went from the west to the east, I launched in Cincinnati, going west at 3 o'clock in the morning, and went high and started going east. When I landed, I, I went into Virginia, and when I descended, I had ocean winds push me inland, and I landed in Unionville, South Carolina, seven days after the shots were fired at Fort Sumner. I became the first prisoner of war, or detainee, of the Civil War because I had freshly printed papers uh, the morning I launched from Cincinnati, and they thought me um, a Yankee spy. Uh, I was detained not once, Horrible. but three times as I made my way back to Cincinnati. Uh, they didn't have Twitter or uh, the internet uh, like we do today. Um, Don't know so what word, <laughs> word didn't get around, but you know, people had heard that a Yankee spy had landed in a balloon. Uh, so after I was released and you know, I told my story and was convincing and detained again, I had to start all over again. But as I traveled back to Cincinnati and then here to Washington, I saw the South mobilizing uh, and thought to myself, this is going to be costly in uh, dollars and costly in human life. I have a skill as an aeronaut uh, that I can provide uh, to the cause and to provide aerial observation and identify troop movement, uh, troop size, um, uh, and provide intelligence to commanders so that they can better base their decisions uh, during the war. So when I came back here on the 18th of June, 1861, uh, I again got with Professor Henry, uh, who suggested that we put a telegraph uh, key in the basket with me uh, to demonstrate the use of the telegraph. Uh, so we sent a message to President Lincoln, the first air-to-ground telegraph ever. Um, in that, I told President Lincoln uh, what I saw, I could see for 50 miles, and that I was willing to support his efforts in the war. Uh, when I landed, I was told uh, President Lincoln wanted to see me, so we, like a Macy's Day Parade. We walked the balloon down to the White House um, uh, and I spent the evening and night talking with President Lincoln uh, about the effectiveness that a balloon corps could provide in, uh, in providing aerial observation and intelligence to the, his commanders. Again, my focus was reducing the length of time of the war and the number of casualties, not just on the side of the North, but on both sides. Your work has been very important, and this is a very exciting experiment.